start to thief. You people, ladies, you start to cut in the traffic, trying to smuggle a car. Don't ask me why. For about two weeks now, everything I've been seeing on my timeline is little me deserve to live in Monaco. Little me, little me deserve to spend three, three trip on a yacht. Little me deserve a Bugatti for that. Little me, where you no know, get job. How do you want to live all those type of life? You are high. There's no business on your page or your profile. You are all you do is wake up and do TikTok. And it's a little bit this. You are only broke. It's not your mate that go and jump or do and win 100 meters in August. And it's not your mate that go and play nature's cup for women. If I see any gay, put little me deserve, little me can come, little me desire in your yacht, little me, and there's no job on your profile. Peace out, go get. Very soon, some of these ladies will start to thief. You people, ladies, you start to cut. In the traffic, trying to smuggle a car. Don't ask me why. For about two weeks now, everything I've been seeing on my timeline is little me deserve to live in Monaco. Little me, little me deserve all the space to be fit. You are an actor. How many movies have you done? You are an actress. How many movies have you done that that gave you 45 million to buy a house? You that just joined the industry. The people that have been in the industry since did not buy. So you, you, the, the people who who are struggling, and okay, le, let me let me go here. I, I said I, I, I may be tempted to mention names, but I will not. We went to we went to uh, Dubai one time, and while we were waiting, I see this uh, actress comes, and then I seen the protocol officers of a particular person. I greeted them; they greeted me and everything. And then the person came and said, hey, here's your key. And then gave her the key, gave her that one. Then she went upstairs. And then maybe like two days later, I see her posting, lounging in Dubai. Lounging. Can you buy your tickets? The ones that do business and make money, we know them. Come here and be putting girls on high jump. Girls are not thinking that. Okay. So when you see some of them run to uh, uh, Oba to go and get their own share, you are not saying... Uh, uh, what are they? What, what, where, where are they? If you act in every movie and they pay you five million, five million, five million, how many movies do you do in a year? See, let me just say this: uh, we know the ones that use their mileage, and popularity, and do business, but that is different. Those ones do other businesses. Those ones are selling clothes, selling uh, anything. They travel and buy anything they want to buy. Come here and sell. They have uh, businesses that they run on the side. They sell oil. They sell all those things. They sell hair. <laughs> so referencing an online source, a talented Nigerian musician, that's Adekule Gold, in one of his popular uh, songs entitled uh, Work, encouraged people to work hard. Now, this is in harmony with... Um, what God, uh, God's word, that's the Bible, recommends in Ecclesiastes chapter 9 and verse 10, where it says, whatever your hands finds to do, do with all your might. Now, work has different dimensions, such as work for making a living and work for developing one's talent and potential. Work is a virtue and necessity which requires the utilization of time and energy. Man is in control of his time and energy when he voluntarily and constructively works. However, there are many problems seriously affecting work and workers in Nigeria today. These include unemployment, poor remuneration, work uh, wages, poor working environment and conditions, casualizations of workers, um, amongst many others. Now, many people experience poverty and unemployment through no fault of their own. Many who are able to work, willing to work hard, and even actively searching for work are still unable to find the work they desire or are qualified for. Now, today we're discussing the subject of dignity in labor, and do you think it still exists in Nigeria? Now, please, let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 803 You can also tweet at us at WayShowAfrica1 with the hashtag WayShow. These two people in this studio, I'm going to, I'm going to send you people out <laughs> of the studio now. <laughs> yeah, but you can't be alone. We won't let that happen. Oh, yeah. you know, it's so interesting. It's so interesting, this conversation. So let me start from the little Missy guy that talked about young girls that want to go on trips, go to this, go to that, and they don't have any proof of um, income. And then 
trickling it down to Alibaba saying that a lot of actresses building houses worth for five million and all of that. I beg to disagree that this thing is actually solely tied to a particular sex. It is not a woman thing. Mm -hmm. So right now, and that's why for me, I wanted us to have a broader conversation around dignity of labor and if it does exist in Nigeria. Because if you look at the trends today, right, how many people can we genuinely say that we can check your source of income today? That mm -hmm. is not tied to fraud, that is not tied to drugs, mm -hmm. that is not tied to robbery. That is not, really, let us be very clear. Yeah. Even the people that are top business seemingly. people, top seemingly uh, top business people. So this thing is not unique to anybody. So there's a big problem, right? Something must have happened that made people say, you know what? I am done doing all those ones that we grew up with. Oh, work hard so that you can know. I am done with that. I am just looking for the soft life. Let me borrow any life <laughs> and look for the easy way out and get, you know, get what I need to get. You know, so this is not unique to so that's why I wanted us to have a broader conversation around dignity and labor if it still exists in Nigeria. <laughs> Who are we starting with? I I can start short. <laughs> Go ahead. Because for me, I would say that it still exists because obviously in every uh, country there there's there are different populations of people. There are people who still believe in standard of living, there are still people who believe in this is my hard work, hand work mm -hmm. honesty, you know, and things like integrity that. And integrity and things like that is at work. So, yes, there's still dignity in labor and it still exists, but um, a lot of things are fast eroding, especially considering our environment, mm. value system. Too many things are going, there's no work for the youth. And the thing is that you, the youth constitute a large population of the country. So when these people are, and it's a very vibrant generation now, it's not, it's not even our own where we were a bit timid and then. Patience is a virtue. You don't have an option. You mm. don't have an option. But now they are, they are the jet age. So everyone is, you know, everyone is on fast track. But so, every, so the dignity that we still have a bit of or we were trained with, is gradually getting there because people want to make that money fast. They want to drive that Range Rover in MJ, time. MJ, I am trying to explain something to you. It's like you did not hear what I said. <laughs> because even the people that you are saying in our time, you understand, <laughs> crime has been there from time immemorial. No, but even yeah. the people that are in the like the older people in their sixties, in their seventies, in their eighties, if you trace down their source of wealth, how genuine is it today? No. It is. I mean, like this thing is not just. A young generation thing is not a woman thing it's not you understand it is across board yeah what i'm trying to say is that times have changed so now it's worse. worse it's worse that's what okay. i'm saying okay. because there's a different generation now and it, most of the things that they believe in is fast track getting mm. there faster so you did it in 10 years they want to do it in five or in two if they can cut that in time two short. months two months mm. yeah so do you understand so it's the fast track that i'm talking about okay. and that is what how has times changed. have changed yeah. all right normal let me come to you all right so picking it up from that when you talk about about dignity in labor you're talking about the times where people believe that all types of jobs are to be respected mm -hmm. so whether you are a plumber a shoe or a shoe shiner I mean you could see people shining shoes with, with dignity pride. Yeah. and pride it is the extent to which people could see their faces that would determine your competence in shoe shining mm -hmm. but today we have Nobody's going to do show. In fact, you hardly have people who would want to stay with your kids now mm. because the young, average young girl wants to be out there either under an umbrella sell, selling recharge card or doing her own thing. She's her boss in herself. Nobody wants to serve under somebody mm. or train like those days when you have people train for seven years and then after. Uh, seven years you are sort of yeah. settled you know all those values all those principles of back in the day the times like NJ has said have actually changed so we see a generation of people who want things done faster who wants uh, quicker results and um, they don't necessarily mind how they get there as far as they get the results and this is something that we have to deal with with the times that well, rightfully were in the jet age. The gone are the times where you're talking about hard work, you spend years before you become a manager. This, now it's about who do I need to step on to be able to get there. So is the question of the day is dignity labor, does it still exist? I believe it still exists 
but it is no longer as popular as it used to be before. What is popular in today's world is how fast you can get rich. Mm -hmm. What is popular in today's world is it doesn't matter how you got there, as long as you got there. Today, we have association of uh, 419 mothers, and they're proud to be 419 or mothers of Yahoo Yahoo. When those days, if somebody saw you doing something, they will find a way to get to your family. In fact, they will draw you by the ear. But some of those things, you cannot try those things in these times. Okay. <clears throat> I like where we're going with the conversation. I want to understand why, right? Why do we have that um, system eroded? Because you see, I mean, you, it is easy for you to say. So even the people that are even calling out the girls, you know, and the Malibaba and the, and the other guy that was calling out the young girls. and How credible. Yeah. So you, 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 you are, you are, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Throwing at stones? some point, every, yeah, you're, you're, you're living in a glass house and you're mm, throwing, yeah, stones. throwing stones. Because at some point, everybody needs someone at some point to leverage on, to be able to climb to somewhere. Mm. You know, you can't really point and sit down and say, no, it is the work that I was doing. I was adding cobble by cobble by cobble. Even him that is talking, uh, talking, is it the, clearly the MC work? You understand? That got or the comedian work that today. has gotten him the amount of, uh, what's it called, um, successes that he has recorded. The answer is no. There has to be some level of, okay, somebody sees you. I like your work and I want to support you. And the person that goes and says, you know what, I have this, uh, this thing here. We know how people even give you properties, give you cars as gift items just because they just love what you do and they believe in what you do so when you now come out it's not all of them you ask how yes, did you get the money yes. how did you make so, it because if you are looking for that cobble cobble to say you want to add nobody can buy i've said it before i don't know who are the people buying houses in nigeria because if you want to really sit down to say you want to calculate your income even if you were earning like maybe two hundred thousand naira every month how long will it take for you to be able to buy a decent accommodation you understand it would take nothing less than 20 to 25 years for you to be able to and We've not even talked about the inflation of everything that is um, impacting the income that is already even depleting. So maybe you had 25 million 10 years ago. That 25 million is like 5 million now. Yeah. For what it can, it can get you. So the point I'm trying to make is, why is this though? Because why do we start, why are we having this dignity um, issues? Why, we, why is it that it's eroding? But let me come to, I think Uti, Uti is here now. Uti, let me hear your initial thoughts. So we've come full circle. So don't ask me how I make my money to how can you be claiming me? What do you do? Mm. We're such hypocrites, Nigerians. Yes, we stop no. it. Um, we're not seeing anything one that is new. We are just seeing in the typical Nigerian fashion what has now grown past the leaf and fallen off the tree. Mm -hmm. So we've always had People who had no, I love when you said, even in the business world, even in the political world, everywhere, in fact, people are questioning how certain people made their money. So today, somebody now sits on their high horse and says, How did you buy a house for 45 million? What did you do? How many movies did you do? Da, 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 da. If I were to call black, black, please let's call it black consistently. Let's not wake up one day and decide that black is gray or black is blue. Mm -hmm. um, let's not be sanctimonious. It's not right. But why all of a sudden is it trending? Because over time, we've seen people live lives on social media that we can't explain the source of their wealth. But nobody has ever called them out. In fact, they've been celebrated for it. Um... And then today, we now come full circle and we suddenly found our morals or we found our voice or what. So the reality of it is there is a problem in education. Okay. There is a problem in employment. There is an employability problem. And you now cap it all off with a nice side dish from social media that is now fanning the flames. Mm. 
that have built over time because this even started before social media. I always used to say, our parents got married, a lot of them started in a one room apartment or a one room flat. Today, young people want to start from Lekki, they want to start from Banana Island. Nobody wants to start small. If you stop a seven year old kid on the street, doesn't know how he's going to earn 10 naira. But if you ask what car he wants to do, he wants to drive a Range Rover, he wants to drive a Maserati. Mm -hmm. We've lost our values. We've lost the value for hard work. There are still people that are working hard. There is still dignity in labor because there are lots of Nigerians who are working hard day in, day out. But we cannot wake up one day and just make it sound like poof, the problem arrived. But Uti, Please. that hard work, how far has it taken people? But we'll take a break because it's true. The people that are really working hard say they are working hard. How far, really, how much achievement can they point to to say it is my hard work that has given me X, Y, Z, the way others, you know, flaunt. But let's take a very short break because I would like to open our phone lines. Um, stay with us. We'll be right back. All right, thanks for staying with us now. If you just tuned in, it's our Ladies' Night Out, and we're discussing dignity in labor. We're asking, does it still exist in Nigeria? Now, please, let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081-803-8463. You can also tweet at us at WayShowAfrica1 with the hashtag WayShow. Now, our phone line is now open. The number to call is 07025-007749. Remember, please just turn off the volume of your television set so we don't have a feedback, right? So, Uti, I was saying that before we went on a break. I said, see... In all honesty, the people that work hard, and this is why we have a lot of stealing going on in the civil service. Because in those days, in those days, they used to work so hard, believing that when, the, when it was time for pension to come, everything would come. Paid. But when the younger people saw how they, treat, they treated the older yeah, people, everybody is now collecting their pension you know, while they are working. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying that when you want to really question the source of people's wealth, you have to be very careful because we are all living in glass houses, right? We are all mm. living in glass houses. There's, a, there's some level of leverage that you have gotten to get to. The, if it is for the kind of work you're doing in this Nigeria today, nothing really can afford you so much that you are, what's it called? That you are a house, a decent house in a decent environment, a decent car, a decent business, a decent uh, company like uh, uh, that your own, you own. It is impossible for you to just wake up and say that um, uh, you want to question somebody else's wealth. What about you? You know, what, what, what's your own source? Because your source is not, is not like maybe you are having an affair with somebody or something does not mean that it makes your own any better, right? But let me hear, uh, Uti, you want to say something? So, so I think that that's a very valid question that you've asked. Um, a lot of, let's not trivialize the value of hard work. Because there are a lot of people today who are working hard, and that's how they're surviving, right? It, it may not be living in Gucci and gold, but they're paying their bills mm -hmm. and they're getting back. Mm -hmm. A great many number of Nigerians live that way. So, does hard work pay off? Yes, it does. Maybe not in the way that you, you want. And let's not forget that this is not a Nigerian problem. There are poor people everywhere. In the good old years of age, they are poor people. Right? So this is not a unique phenomenon to Nigeria. So hard work does pay. But here's the thing. Those actresses and all those people that are on social media, why are they doing it? It's PR. Classic. Absolutely. If you're asking somebody, how many movies have you done? The person wants to be pictured as successful. The person wants to present themselves as going on that trip on, in Dubai. Yeah, Why? Because human nature, you want to associate with what's in. Doesn't matter how you're singing your shida kuda wuda. There are so many great actresses, so many great singers in the world today, you don't like agree, that nobody knows who they are. So are you creating a platform that people are interested in what you're doing? Are you creating an audience that allows people to come to you? That's what people are trying to do. Mm. That's what the safe life is all about. What do we call it? We call it packaging. Mm -hmm. Why do you need to package something? Because uh, when you're going to pick it up in the shop, mm. if you pick the unprocessed raw one, 
Mm. You would agree that the price you would buy it is completely different from the process one in a nice box. Absolutely. With a brand name that you know. You will pay more. Absolutely. And I was going to add to what you just said that. You see, I have seen, this is not even based on hearsay. First hand, why I, I see a lot of actors and actresses when they go abroad and they post pictures is because by the time they are posting and flaunting that lifestyle, guess what happens? A producer is calling them, buzzing them, please, I need you in my next movie. I need you in my this, mm -hmm. I need you in my that. You know, so, I mean, if you want to wake up and make certain kinds of allegations, try to be a, a lot more, what's it called, holistic in your approach. Because would somebody just pick up anybody from the streets and give them a role? No. The actors are saying, and the other day we were talking about body right. enhancement. Why some people have had to go under the knife because they don't, they don't give roles. Just to be able to get yes, certain just to get roles. Certain, certain roles. Mm. They don't give roles to people that are not light-skinned. They don't give roles to people that do not have a particular kind of bum-bum. And, you know, so... If you, if you know that these are the things that are happening, this is the kind of thing we would get. Until we now reverse it back. We say, you know what? As you are, the way we used to watch movies that everybody was okay, everybody was normal. You know? Not now everybody's looking in a certain way just yeah, because they are trying to land the role. So, if so I it's I the, 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 sorry, um, Udoma, the, 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 the whatever, it, it's on every one of us. Mm -hmm. We need to change and re change our mindset Absolutely. and everything completely. I was just coming there that we need to have a change of culture. Over time, a change of attitude as well. Over time, the meaning of dignity of labor has changed. It has evolved. And even though it is um, what we see today, it can still be what it should be if we have that mindset. The kind of people that we, uh, we've, uh, like Uti rightly said, we've lost a lot of our va values. Some of those things. You know, those days when you would have people put in bribery and you say no, I wouldn't take this because of what I believe and what I stand for, the mm. principles. So now we are having so many gray areas. And at the same time, people are the different problems we have of unemployment, the general situation in the country have made people to even become desperate. Social media has not even helped matters because now everybody has to showcase themselves in such a way that they are sellable. You know, they are marketable. So that's why you have some of these actresses going on social media when they travel oh i'm doing first class i'm you know in dubai i'm living the larger than life uh kind of uh experience mm -hmm. and then more people are looking at these people as role models they cannot see people we are not showcasing the people who are actually working in dignity because it doesn't compare to the meaning of success that we have as it is today so you have a lot of people who are actually doing very well, who have done uh, who, through hard work and through uh, diligence in what they believe in. But who, who is seeing them? Mm. Nobody is seeing their work. Nobody is seeing them. So a lot of this seeming uh, uh, of fake world, so to speak, is what constantly badgers us every single day. When you're on the road, you see when you go to some of the eateries, who are the people you see hang out there? People in socks and, you know, looking, you know, in their big Mercedes. And you say, ah, but this person is young like you. How come he's making it? You are not making it. So the, the, <laughs> the onslaught is too much. We need a lot of our people who still believe in principles and values. And another thing that I want to attribute it to is the fact that we have now come become a society where it is not my business. Mm. It is not my business has also brought us to where we are today. Those days, if you see somebody doing something wrong, you will caution the person. You will even say, where's your father? I know your street. I know where you live. But today, you see people doing stuff and you say, it's not my business because if you talk, oh, they will shout you down. But at least, let it be that you've said something. Sometimes it may not make sense at that time. But eventually... In the quiet of themselves, they, they can do something. So we need to get back to that point where values really mattered. Mm. And it will take each of us individually and collectively to begin to exercise these principles any given opportunity. Mm. Sometimes for me, when I'm out with my kids, they see some things. It's a learning experience. You cannot say it's not my business because tomorrow your child is going to want to get married. <laughs> they are going to get married to those people. Mm. Uh, if they come back and say, oh, this is the person I want to marry, what are you going to do about it? Mm. So you need to start paying attention and you need to start speaking up where it is necessary. We can't get tired of doing that. 
Interesting. Wow. NJ. <laughs> I don't know if I can take it over from there. <laughs> it's, you know, well, go ahead. so for me, I'll take it from the employment the focus. Norma has spoken about the value system, which I earlier mentioned. Oh, sorry, let, let me quickly take a call. Okay. Um, Kobe, I believe. Kobe, you're live from Lagos, I believe. Yeah, thank you very much. I, I just want to make a quick contribution. Go ahead. And the lady that just finished speaking very on black, I remember her name. No, she just said something that's very clear. Mm -hmm. We have a culture of um, mind your own business, which has so far eroded a lot of things in Nigeria. We see a lot of illegal and wrong things happening. We all know the truth, we know so many things, but everybody wants to claim, oh, it's not my business, I mind your business, and blah, blah, blah. She made a very valid point that you have kids growing. They are going to become the, uh, let's put it this way, leaders of tomorrow. How then do you want to justify dignity in labor? When you, on your own part, part are seeing wrong mm. happening and you're not calling the attention to it. Mm. The, um, the comedian that uh, I guess you, you guys are making reference to, Alibaba, he actually said something. He was not pointing any accusing fingers to anyone. He was only bringing to our knowledge of something that has now become normal. When you see a lot of people who just come up yesterday, act one or two train movies, and they have, um, what's it called, um, a house worth 100, 200 million. Hey, well, so, Kobe, I'm not disputing that Alibaba is making a valid, um, what's it called, bringing Point. something valid to, uh, the, to, to the fore. I'm saying that that is a very narrow uh, narrative. It's a one-sided narrative because it I have it's not a, it's, it's not a, if, 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 if you listen to what he was saying directly, he was speaking to a fact. He was not speaking vaguely. I he was not speaking you, openly. Toby, he not was speaking to a particular angle, I a particular reference to say this line of people, this thing needs to stop. Because we have so many young ones who are coming up now and who are facing undue intimidation. So because I guess still are saying that ah, this guy just came up some days ago, some, some months ago, and they have achieved a lot already. Mm. How are they going about doing it? These are what are pushing so many people into the negative part, uh, part of life. Absolutely. So until we become our, our, our neighbor's keeper. See, I spent a lot of my years in the U.S. There are some kind of things that you will bring towards your house. Your neighbor calls the cops on you. Mm. Everybody must be able to say, oh, what's happening over there? But we have all kept quiet. Everybody is now becoming um, um, uh, all self uh, uh, negligent in so many things. We are not calling attention to say, these guys, are, this is what you're doing and it's wrong. Thank you. So I, I get what Kobe is trying, yes. saying, but he's missing he's the point the that point I'm trying, that you to are trying to make. And I'm trying to say to you that, you see, even the people that will call these people to question, they are also of questionable character. You're not getting the point. We have so the 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 the, the what's it called? This, the narrative. This no no no. Even this this uh, um, ill-gotten wealth, mm. right? Or this ill or questionable source of income. I'm saying that Alibaba should not have limited it to mm -hmm. just a particular it like actress. Shouldn't be just and all about that. women. Do you understand? It is not about. It is everybody. It is everybody. It's a even general people, problem. Even people in the banks. Why do you see people in the banks uh, stealing one one naira? They gather the money and they cash out and they they they, they, they you know they leave the country. Are those, are those Do you understand? So are those actresses? They are not actresses. Everybody is yeah. looking for a a, way a, a sharp way to to steal money. So it's not just limited. So li that is limiting the thought. If you are just focusing on actresses alone, that's my point. I I but let me take Loma from, um, from the then, then I'll come back to you, NJ. My body is hot. It's hot, I can see. Loma, you're alive, oh. <laughs> Thank you for calling. Yeah, um, please, I'm to let us know. Uh, this time around, in this present dispensation, I want to take on Loma, my sister. See, if, if there's a way you will have to tell somebody, nah, what I'm doing is not good, though. Before you know it, you become an enemy and target. This time, people don't like to take advice mm. because of, uh, will I say, uh, uh, morality 
have now been taken to the door drops. So nobody wants to take good advice again. When you see something bad and uh, 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 you try to tell somebody, now nah, I don't like what you're doing, or you stop by. I don't know what, I don't, this thing you're doing, or it's not, before you know it, you become a target. Before you know it, that person will lose his or her life. So this time around, the only thing you do, gather your own family members, tell them what is good, let instill in them the moral values so that they will grow with it. Then when they go outside and meet those things that are not good, they will know distinguish between good and evil. But this time around, even in this our area, if you just tell a young boy what you're doing is not good, stop it before you know it. They will gang up against you and beat you up and even send the future the great beyond. So that is why people are running away to give advice. Thank you very much. Thank you. I understand what so he, oh, yeah, I understand what you're saying because we we've, we've gotten to that point where you know everyone is just on the mind your own business kind of thing mm, because mm. when you say people have an it's just the same way Alibaba just had an opinion mm -hmm. and, and everybody has come out for him. Off Nobody is attacking him. No, no, Nobody. No, no. Yeah, but, but it, some people but will come some, out for definitely him. Definitely people will come for you because like we're taking from the point that he wasn't being general on the matter, mm. on the issue, which is also taking a hit at him, if you understand what I mean. It's an opinion. Mm -hmm. We feel that he should have been a bit more general because this thing is a general problem and a general issue in the country. So understand? there was an actor that also just um, showed his um, man palatial mansion that he just built. Mm -hmm. Because how many movies? See, yeah. it, let's, let's be realistic with this conversation. And I don't want us to be... I, and this is me trying so hard not to take it from a petty point of view. Mm. I'm not about uh, feminism here or women or whatever. Yeah, I am looking at a bigger picture. No, your point we is are in a, we are in a, we are in a We are in a big mess where it seems like anybody that is trying so hard to work hard to get something done, you are seen like you are a Legbere. You, you know, this one, you don't even know what is going on. Because now everybody is just looking for on quick, quick... Track. Quick wins. Mm -hmm. Everywhere you, we are on the you fast look. track to see where we can quickly get some money. So somebody that is working in a bank, instead of looking at how I can grow through the ranks and get my, what's it called, promotion as when do you get my salary increments and all of that. Instead, I'm thinking of how can I be taking one, one naira from the customer's account that I will gather enough money and before you know anything, I'm a millionaire and, I, and I'm out of the country. That's why there's a rise in Yahoo. That's why there's rise in um, what's it called drug use and, uh, 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 and uh, what's it called trafficking. That's why there's a rise in prostitution. That's why there's rise in all this small girl, small girl, big god, and whatever it is that they are doing. <laughs> you know, there's a rise in everything. Mm -hmm. So it is not just... Um, gen, um, um, targeted at, yeah. at a particular yeah. per industry, gender or whatever, or yes, or industry. Yeah. It is everywhere. It's across. Ua, Ua, the thing is that maybe he saw that angle, right? Yeah. And that was what he expressed at yeah. the time. But we know, talking about it and having this conversation with That's it, know that yeah. we know that it's here. an even bigger problem. It's not just limited to actors and actresses. Yes, that's There's what I'm so saying. There's so many ways. It's but a general take problem. Youngest old man, then we should please take our messages. Um, okay. Youngest old man, you're alive. Yeah, good evening. Hi. Uh, it is what it is. <laughs> they don't touch you for me today. At least they pay you personally. <laughs> 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 you see, the issue is that this, 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 this age of fake it till you make it is putting a lot of people in big trouble. Mm -hmm. And you see, that culture of management is fast escaping from most of our celebrities and some of our, most of our um, upcoming ones and people are fast losing that humanity because they want to fake it out you they make it and they're not falling to that uh, full strength of emotional bankruptcy hmm. and you now see that they will be holocausting in their psychology basically <laughs> meaning sometimes in anything you do in life there must be accounting Mm. For you to be able you to know your income, your expenditure, your projection, all these things matters in business. But unfortunately for people, we come to see it as let's continue faking it. And that's where you end up here after somebody has bought a house for some months and you just say that they've been thrown out. People don't take advice from people that have done well. And even if you come to advice, they will see you as an enemy. And before you know it, the culture is fast losing. You understand? The reality is so fake that even most people don't even know until they come in. So it's just like one or another semi-Yahoo team. 
So we don't know why they be on the way enter. We want to share more with these other things. But we already there. Let's just face it the way it is. And nobody tells anybody the truth. Even those that want, that, that want to uh, kind of give you a tip on how it's been done, will be attacked like 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 a rolling dog. So for me, I just feel that God will just help us. I can't even know how to give any advice to anybody anymore because I don't even know who is trying to listen and who is not listening. But everybody will be silent at the time you are speaking, but at the end of the day, they will still do what they want to do. So basically, mm. we are in a very, very trying times. God wow. help us. All right, so let's take some comments. Mm. Someone says, Uwa, well, you asked um, uh, questions about how far hard work has paid. For me, I believe hard work pays no matter um, no matter the ill treat treatment method to pensioners denied of their labor. Let me use the media which I belong to. If a TV station fails to meet the, expect the expected standard, I switch it off. I have followed you when you were in another station maintaining vibrancy in critical and constructive analysis. No matter whose ox is God, that is where why I am here. Uh, oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> know that some people are watching while dignity is eroding is because virtue is lacking. There are some families who would not want their family values to be washed away and have continued, uh, continually kept the faith. No, yeah. your co comments. And I agree because, mm -hmm. and that's why I'll disagree with Longman because sometimes you think that, oh, because uh, this is what is raining now. Mm. Um, <laughs> you should lose your values. Absolutely. No, we have to keep talking. All right, this is from Bisi, and it says, Good evening, ladies. Is there still dignity in labor in Nigeria? Yes, I think so. But our value system has changed over time. We now worship money, and the get-rich-quick syndrome has eroded our societal values. Most of us look down on artisans, so what do we see? Most people want to make billions without any reasonable source of income, fraud, drug, and other activities have overtaken dignity in labor. A professor is talked down on in the village meeting by a non-entity that took to crime to build churches, mm -hmm. roads for the community. Due to the trends, most youth and older people want to dupe their bosses. Even if you do search and call for interviews for nannies and you see the set of people available, most don't want families where the wives and children live with their husbands. Most prefer men that have families abroad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Problem. So who are you coming to take care of? <laughs> <laughs> Even in corporate settings, cleaners, tea ladies, etc. are treated as second class. Mm. All of us have a part to play to bring back the dignity in labor. labor. Thank you, BC. Thank you so much. Uti. Um, so mine reads, dignity and labor means respect for all types and not considered any job superior to the other. In today's world, amassing of wealth and accumulation is now considered as advancement, but many people are trying to measure up to an elusive standard. We need to check on current value systems. After all, this life is just temporary, and we're just surrounded by acting big men. Mm. I really I, like that one. This, no name. <laughs> this is from Devo. It says, this, the general sentiment is not dis, uh, disputing dignity in labor. Rather, how some make money through means um, they are not projecting. It is the misleading and deception implication that is rubbing many the wrong way. Mm. Really, what does small girl big God mean? Uh, go ask, go ask <laughs> <That's> Ali Baba. <laughs> Quickly, your last comment. We are out of time. So, um, this, says, um, this is from Daniel Eloy, a regular ways um, fan. fan. Quickly. It says, good evening, my dear beautiful sisters of... <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> Dignity of labor, does it still exist in Nigeria? Um, to some people, it does. But to others, the answer is no. Sister Uti said, we have lost our value, and that is true. Salary earners want to own a house in VGC, Aja, and Lekki, yet they cannot afford it. If you really want to maintain your dignity, why not respect yourself and cut your coat according to your size, hmm. according to your material? Ah, we have to cut that mm -hmm. off. A Yahoo, a Yahoo boy and girl cannot maintain dignity of labor. Mm. That is totally that is totally armed robbery. Okay. People who want to aim high and live high must work towards it and stop deceiving themselves and making it the wrong way. Ali Baba made sense. He said that people do not earn much we have and they to want down. to acquire the a property, property of forty five million. million. Mm. All right. So thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, ladies. Now, before we go, ensure you follow us on Instagram at Wayshow Africa. You can interact with us further. Drop a comment and more importantly, follow all our engagement on social media. If you missed today's quote, here it is again. Where is my quote? 
it says, <clears throat> all labor that uplifts humanity has dignity and importance and should be undertaken with painstaking excellence. We'll see you guys live at 8 p.m. tomorrow as we bring another great conversation. Do you Bye. Score.